Hey everybody, what's up? We're here with a timeless reading. Welcome. First card that we have out is King of Cups. I'm also seeing Two of Swords here. It looks like a choice needs to be made. Choice needs to be made. Something needs to be figured out. You could be trying to gain insight on something. Like that type of thing. I'm seeing before you do anything, to have the King of Cups sandwiching Two of Swords. So Two of Swords is like, I'm going to take action in some way, whether I be like communicating what this is that I find, or making a decision, or understanding something. There's going to be like an action that ends up taking place. This is between two cards that are cards of taking something and bringing it like within rather than feeling like there's an immediate need to do something externally. King of Cups is about getting centered and getting grounded. That's going to help you see what needs to be seen here. And then also having Hermit, this is sort of like reviewing this and thinking about it and being mindful and figuring out what you think on your own, that type of thing. Like what you want to do here. Feels like this is definitely highlighting the importance of you doing this in a centered way, whatever it may be. I'm seeing the Empress here. This is going to help you move forward in a way that is going to feel best. And like what you actually want. And it seems like figuring that out. Maybe something's not so straightforward. It looks like there's a choice about what's going to be most fitting for you within this situation. Because at first when you're at first when you're moving through this, what it looks like is that there may be a couple different things that you are looking at. And you could have been like, is it this thing? Is it this thing? Is it that thing? Which one is it? And I'm seeing it be like for some time, some important reason here that you're doing this. Having Sun and having Queen of Cups come out is like you're going to realize what this is. And it's connected with like how you want to proceed with this and like what your heart is really telling you. And also like what you feel like is best too for this situation where you're feeling like like you're showing up in the best way possible. But I'm also seeing like what you want to be considered within this as well. So this isn't something where that's not considered. For some reason, I'm seeing I'm seeing all these cups be involved. So it's like like what is your heart telling you? What feels authentic to you? What feels emotionally driven to you? What is going to feel like actually, actually fulfilling for you? Like moving through this situation. Like what do you actually want? Having seven of cups though, there could be multiple things where you're like, well, is it this thing or do I want that thing? But then having sun and queen of cups feels like like you realize what this is actually going to be for you. <clears throat> so I'm not seeing you stay in a, in a space where you're confused about what this is. I'm seeing it definitely be clarified, but you needed to get grounded first. And you needed to consider what was going on here first in order for you to get to this spot over here.
I'm seeing you really look pretty confident. Okay, pretty confident about this. Pretty confident about this. Feels like you have a good sense of what's going on. You're feeling in tune, you're feeling connected. I'm also seeing too, we have King of Cups and we also have Queen of Cups here. So this can be you dealing with somebody that you are close with or somebody that you care about. Having both of these energies, these are counterparts with one another. And usually when the cups are involved, it can be like some emotional type of relationship that these people have. Even though this can, it, for those of you that you're in a situation and another person is not involved in this, this can just be like a process internally that's going on where before you're sort of um, reflecting on what's going on, this will, regardless of whether another person's involved in this, the main basis of this, like just with you and yourself is going to be, you're in a situation, emotions and feelings need to be processed prior to processing, needing to ground them. So that means like, rather than being in a reactive space, I'm going to be in a centered space so I can actually see everything that's going on here. And then I can get a better understanding of how I'm actually feeling. And it's like a more organized sort of way of dealing with this rather than it feeling super chaotic and just like a lot going on and it's up and down and all of this stuff. This is about sort of like remaining calm and reading the situation properly because you sort of like take that step back to actually, and you're not tuning out, you're really tuning in, but not from a reactive space. So that's the importance of having King of Cups here primarily and following is then the Queen of Cups. So it's like, first I gotta get calm or I gotta get centered or I gotta get grounded and then next is time to really like tune in and feel into what's going on here and then it looks like that's going to be expressed so it's like now now i feel like i'm understanding i'm realizing the way that i'm feeling and i feel very confident about that too and then having this it's like now i'm going to then express that i'm feeling it i'm knowing that and then i'm expressing that so we can move forward, it seems. It looks like this is going to be met with a playful energy. I'm seeing Knight of Wands, so it does seem like there are multiple people involved in this. So the person that then is expressing what they feel, to have the Knight of Wands here, like meeting this energy, this is like a playful energy meeting this. So it seems like there's a, a good balance like a good composure of things here i'm not seeing this be like out of touch i'm seeing this be sort of appropriate for the situation it feels like this is keeping it light in some way or keeping it fun in some way or keeping it adventurous but not in an out of touch way not in a now i'm not considering your feelings i think the person on the receiving end is going to feel excited about you expressing what it is that you're expressing to them and then they're sort of like bringing their passion and energy into things so this is like this person that you're dealing with you may see them in this situation as sort of like um counterbalancing you in a way because i'm seeing them be fire i'm seeing you be water or vice versa if that's the situation for you and so there's a sense of balance here between like i'm authentically sharing this like how i'm feeling and i feel really in touch with myself that's the beauty of these two energies knight of wands is somebody where they're like i really feel what's going on and that's what's driving me and having this process over here with the queen of cups this is also somebody that's like, I really know what I'm feeling and I'm bringing that to you. And then both of these energies are meeting with each other. And so there's definitely like a nice, um, a nice vibe that's going on between the two of them. And then it seems like it allows like this situation to be, something may be completed then at this point, cause I'm seeing the death card. So maybe you feel like something is over, 
or now we can sort of like move on and see how things progress after that point. You could feel like that's what was needed for this situation to be completed, that type of thing. Okay, surprise. I'm seeing a tower. I need to get a couple more cards. Something surprising or unexpected may come out. Like, it seems like this is connected with somebody, like, saying something, communicating, being like, this is how I feel, something like that, to have the tower here. So this can be, like, an unexpected conversation that you have. I'm also seeing Ten of Swords, but then I'm seeing Four of Wands. So what it looks like is that there could be a situation where there's a conversation that occurs about something that already happened, something that's being put to rest, and it seems like it allows things to sort of start working the way that you may feel they're supposed to. Also too, for some of you, like something ended abruptly and you could have felt surprised by that because somebody was meeting you. Like the way that I'm seeing these two energies, it looks like they're connecting with one another. And so I, you imagine that like, say you're talking to another person, just for this example, you're talking to or interacting with another person and it feels like they're like really meeting you halfway, but then having the death card can feel like a very abrupt, like the phone dies then, like that type of thing. And then having the tower can be like, that was unexpected. Like I didn't think that I was gonna be left on a cliffhanger here. So there can be like something along the lines of that happening here. It just feels like something like changes in a very drastic way or something stops in a very drastic way. It's basically like having Death Card and Mars here with the tower next to one another. It means that something that you were expecting to move a particular way gets changed. So either like the direction really changes or the speed really changes or like it turns into a different thing it can be like that type of thing. But having the death card is sort of like the next step on the the next step of this cycle and where we're going but it can be like i expected this cycle to be moving longer than this like i expected for it to be going on longer than it is and to have the death card can mean um that it's like oh no it's done here it's like you think that the episode has 20 more minutes and they're like nope cut so then there is going to be an episode that follows, but it's like this one ended in maybe a different way or it could have been shorter, whatever it is. It's something that happens that you weren't thinking was going to happen. Then over here, I'm seeing, which it looks like for some of you, then three people get involved. It doesn't have to be three people, but for some of you, there are three people involved in this. I'm seeing, it can also just still be the two people where there's just like a sort of, switching of energy into now we need to talk about this like it could be more straightforward it could be more to the point it could be more like hey we need to discuss this thing but it's in order to allow things to actually work better because it seems like there was there needed to be a conversation about how one was feeling because i'm seeing actually at the center of this the queen of cups be so there can be a feminine energy that's at the center of this situation and there can be some type of discussion about that again like i for some of you i do get the vibe of there being three people here but that's not for everybody's situation some of you this may be a type of situation where it's like there are two masculine figures and one feminine figure that's an energy within this remember all of us have masculine and feminine energy that has nothing to do with gender 
the feminine energy would be the one that's sort of being like approached or spoken about or being addressed they would be like on the receiving end of like the emotions or of the communication or like it would be sort of about them and then these other two energies would be here trying to like accomplish something or move forward with something or address something or like incite something it's like that type of energy but for some of you it could be just like you and another person and now it's time to like before emotions were being talked about or expressed to one another and now we're moving into an energy where it's like logistically we need to also talk about this too as i said before though i'm seeing the four of wands here so it seems like this is about discussing something so things can actually work the way that we feel like they're meant to or the way that we feel like they're supposed to so there's going to be a discussion about that for some of you, this can be about a relationship, it can be about a marriage, it can be about a living situation, it can be about an event, it can be about a wedding for some of you. Um, it can just be about something too that's trying to be like established and there being even like a sense of normalcy within this too. Like something being like official or something being regular or normal or something being like established in that type of way where it becomes like an everyday type of thing some of you this was a relationship in the past this could be a past living situation um it could have been a past marriage could have been a past relationship it's or it was something that had gone on for a long time either like in the past or there's like a lot of history behind it that type of thing that's what i'm seeing I'm hearing the word selfish. Maybe something didn't work out. Okay. Who do we have here? I'm looking at Virgo. I'm seeing Venus, the Sun, Scorpio, Mars, and Leo. Yeah, I'm seeing there be something about setting boundaries. Wait, let me say this too. For some of you, you can be in a situation with somebody and then you have a, another person coming around. So that can also be what's going on here. Okay. This is exciting. I'm seeing that there. For us to end with a full... I feel like we're covering a lot of ground in a short amount of time. Maybe you're gonna feel in this situation like a lot happens in a short amount of time. Because I feel like we have a lot of cards out here for like just where we are with the timing. For us to end with the full, this shows that you need to remain sort of composed as you're going through this because it's going to lead to a very big, new, important chapter. And if you can be grounded, you're going to be open to this and it's something that's gonna be really beneficial, but it may be something that was super unexpected. There's going to be a discussion ultimately about something that needs to be cleared up and I'm seeing that be the point. I'm getting these two energies that are gonna connect with one another and it's going to allow for something that needs to happen to happen. And you can even feel like finally this is happening or finally this is being addressed. I'm seeing too a really big like shakeup or change is involved in this as well. What precedes this is somebody somebody understanding what they want now currently then I'm seeing there be a shift that happens because of that. I'm not seeing this necessarily be an easy transition, but somebody feels like it's necessary and worth it in order for them to actually connect with what they feel is most genuinely like what they're feeling for. So it's like that type of situation. I'm seeing um, a decision that somebody needs to make. I'm seeing it be an emotional one. And I'm also seeing it 
feel like there may have been a lot of turmoil that was connected with this too. And it's about the next cycle that's going to be beginning. The past is definitely connected with this for sure. It looks like a, a person or a vibe or a situation that feels really familiar, similar, I'm hearing. And there's definitely relationship talk that's involved in this or like, like household talk or something along the lines of that. It also feels too like someone may feel like now they are in a spot where they're like composed enough and understanding enough and aware enough to actually be able to like maintain a conversation that needs to happen. I'm seeing stuff begin in a place, the setting sort of begins in a situation where it's like, what in the world is going on here? I feel like I have no clue what's happening. And then I'm seeing it be like a really breakout energy and then to have the fool, it's like, oh, we're really gonna do this, like that type of thing. So that's what's gonna be happening. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.